What's going on, everybody? I pray y'all are doing well on another blessed day as we give the Holy Spirit all the honor, the glory, and all praise and worship. My title says Perpetrators. Perpetrators. This is a video response back to my young people. Y'all all know who you are. Great emails. I want to talk to the young in this video. 16, 17 years old, 18. When you start understanding this life, you realize that it's a lot of fake people. There are a lot of people on social media that use social media, social media to be somebody they ain't. Hmm. I see it all the time. People that I know flashing money, stacks and stacks of money laid across the bed. Not even their money. Getting off of somebody else's car. <laughs> Acting like it's their car. Lying. And one thing about your lies, they will catch up with you. But see, when I was coming up, we called them perpetrators. Or you may hear the term, stop stunting. You lying about who you are and what you are. You showing all this and showing all that. And ain't none of it yours. See, you don't have to fit in. I used to tell my baby brother Titus this all the time. Don't try to fit in, fit out. Because that fitting in is what got so many people in trouble. That trying to fit in is what got so many, so many people locked up. That trying to fit in is why so many young people are dead and, and in the grave. Because they wanted to be like such and such. Hang around with such and such. And in this life, you're going to have to make some serious decisions. You're going to realize he really wasn't your homeboy. She really wasn't your homegirl. You're going to realize there are some people hanging around you just to get all they can out of you, and then they're going to burn off. Peer pressure is all around you. But these people that's perpetrating to be something they ain't. They really not happy with who they are. See, you should be your own self. See, it's, it's so many young people want to be popular. And it's a price that come with that. Hmm. See, I, I, uh, brother, brother Ricky, you, you six, 17 now. You 17 now. Let me tell you something. When I was in high school, I didn't have no car neither. I wouldn't. I didn't have no car, and I didn't have no problem walking. Sure, it was a whole lot of people around me that had cars. Some of them had cars when they was a freshman. Some of them was out there slanging dope and had a car. My partner that's dead and gone had a car pretty much in eighth grade. But when you look at what everybody else got, you lose focus on what you already have. And I know it don't make it no better with, with this system that we living in. That's why we are in the world, but not of the world. But we right here in the middle of it. I ain't say we of the world. I say we living in it. And we go against it. But I know they paint this picture of everything beautiful. Everything got to be quick. Get rich quick schemes that's going on. Then you look at the rap videos. They show you the bling bling, the... Riding on rims and getting the women, but they don't show you the other side. Hmm. And a lot of them are perpetrators. I remember, I think when Bars in the Hood came out, that, that beautiful 6 4 that was off in that movie, if I'm not mistaken, I think I remember Ice Cube saying that that was DJ Quick's car. And. Even when you look at it, when you look at straight out of Compton, Easy E was the only one that had that ride pretty much at first. And you think about that. Now Cube start getting stuff let on, of course. But my my point is, there's so many people trying to be like somebody else and and have what they have. 
I remember in the movie Cube said, I ain't even, I ain't even got a car. Because Easy was slanging. And when you said in dope, yeah, things come quick. But your life can also end quick. Or you, if it don't end quick, you're in the penitentiary. So many of my brothers are gone. Either locked up and the rest of them are dead. I got a long list of how many people that grew up out here. Long list. I stopped counting out a few years back. I used to write down every time somebody got murdered or killed, I wrote it down and I had it on a long sheet of paper. And I'll put a check by their name, gone. Gone. Little Ken, gone. Little Elma wasn't even nothing but 12, 13 years old, gone. Hammy gone. Junior Flip, gone. Ricky Porter, gone. Melvin Davis, gone. Terry Manuel, gone. I just go on down the list. Big Mo, gone, 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 gone. Teresa Taylor, gone. I mean, I could just, it, it was past 20. And then I thought about my life. And then I thought about the ones that's younger than us that want to be like the ones that's dead. Stop perpetrating. Stop trying to live up here when you making right here. Stop trying to fit in. It's okay to fit out. It's okay if they call you strange. That's why I say when I was in high school, we didn't have nothing to brag about. The clothes, growing up, you know what I consider sometimes a lot of new clothes for me? was my big brother's hand-me-downs. And mom and them did the best they could getting us stuff. But I was so happy to get my brother's shirt when it shrunk. Because my big brother is what, about 6'4"? Six, he's 6'4". Six, he's six, and a lot of times, y'all know how it is, when, when, when clothes hit that dry, they will shrink. Oh, I can wear this now. But I didn't have no problem wearing the clothes that didn't have no name brand on them. See, the thing about me that took me over is I could scope. Anybody that know me know I can scope. And that's why I was, that's why when we was talking about them Oscars, I said, man, that's all we did growing up was talk about each other's mama and, and, and out of love and just having fun with it, scoring on each other. I could score on you all day and, and won't even get, and you could score on me right back and my feelings wouldn't hurt not one bit. My partner, Ricky Porter, we sit with, man, we scored on each other so much. When we used to be on the basketball team, all we did was score, score, score. And his mama was strung out. And he, it didn't bother him. But when you try to fit in and start perpetrating, that's fake. That's not who you are. People be looking at some of these folks. Oh, man, they balling. They balling, man. That ain't balling. That's an embarrassment. I remember one time this dude I used to work with, he had got this BMW. He would always show everybody the pictures and perpetrate with it. But, I mean, let me say it like this. He would never drive the car. So one day I asked him, what's to say, man? You always be talking about the couple. Why, why, why you don't ever drive the car? He said, because I can't afford to put gas in it. What you get the car for? I said, it just look good sitting up. He said, I really can't afford to put gas in it, man. But I just love to show it off to people. Couldn't put gas in it. And he was still staying at the house with his mama. How many of these people out here balling, like you say balling, but in reality, they still stay at the house with their mama? Or they getting money from old girl? See, some of these, these dudes out here, and women do it, some of these dudes, though, out here, they don't have half of what they say they got. See, I'm real. Just like when I met my wife or anybody I dated in the past, I told them, this is me. This is, I ain't never tried to front for no woman. 
You looking at me, this is what I got. If I ain't got no car, I ain't got no car. But I guarantee you I'm working on getting one. But I've always worked. Sure, it's a whole lot of people around me with way more money than me. This is why David got mad because the wicked was prospering. It looked like the wicked is always prospering, but really, are they really prospering according to the most high? Or are they trying to gain this world and lose their soul? They're not proper. The Bible said the wicked shall get cut off. They're not prospering when you think about it. It just looked like they're getting away with it. You, I know you're tired, like you said in your letter, I'm tired of looking at the dope dealer making more money than me. I'm tired of looking at how he got all the clothes, he got all the women, he got all the he got all the cars, man, two or three cars. He got he ain't got the most high. And all that material stuff you calling out in your letter can't get him into heaven. And you know what else? He can't take it with him. And I leave on that note.